We've got high ambitions for um, Lower Thames Crossing. What we want to do is make it the greenest road possible. And when we say green, we really are focusing on all aspects of green, but you know, really you want to pull out today the conversation around carbon and community. And when I say that, what really is about local firms getting involved in driving carbon out of one of the most ambitious road projects in the country. We have an objective to be net zero operations by 2030, net zero construction by 2040 and net zero um, user through working with government um, by 2050. So we are, we've today announced that we're going to be a pathfinder project in terms of carbon um, and sustainability for uh, national highways. And the intention is as we put build together the teams over the next 18 months, we'd like to be able to pull all the brilliant ideas in Essex and Kent that can really help us um, drive this agenda forward. Thames Estuary is probably the UK's greatest growth corridor opportunity. Our board is absolutely behind this extraordinary, beautiful, visionary, essential project for the estuary. We believe this project can really shift the dial for the estuary, for the national economy and for our role in the world. So this is a project of huge, huge scale. It's a project of huge ambition and it's a project which is needed. There is an extraordinary opportunity here for the Thames Estuary uh, uh, to show an international leadership in green construction uh, and really innovation in terms of low carbon construction. By going out to market now means we'll have a team next year which means that all that sort of great stuff we've been talking about can start to be assembled well ahead of the actual time where we actually need to go out on site because often the most of everything we've talked about gets excluded because we rush to build and what this allows us to do is get that great, those great ideas get those local ideas get those local firms involved early we are then able to then move forward with something really quite um, impressive because if we don't do it we as as, as many say we, you rush to concrete too quickly and we'll end up excluding those opportunities you can see the importance that we at Essex County Council are placing on climate sustainability and building for net zero. How can we start to decarbonise plant in the next one, two, three, four years? So we're very excited that that technology has a place um, in the near future, uh, whilst we and, and other industries continue to develop other ways to find uh, a zero carbon solution. All future apprenticeships, degrees, qualifications coming forward should have green skills embedded within them. So really good to understand what is needed and how people are trying to, to change this culture. I'm absolutely determined that we find ways of continuing to invest in the upgrading and maintaining of our transport network, whilst at the same time reducing dramatically the environmental impact of construction. The two should not be and are not mutually exclusive and can't be if we are to achieve the government's ambitions on both. It's fantastic that National Highways intends for the Lower Thames crossing to pave the way toward net zero construction. Uh, and as everyone has a role to play in the UK's drive towards net zero, and National Highways has clearly stepped up to the mark in this respect. All of this presents an opportunity, not a threat. An opportunity for us to shape and drive the innovation and technology needed to deliver a decarbonised strategic road network and to fully support a pathway to a net zero economy. My overall impression of the session is that it was extremely informative and how we as a team can move forward in a more carbon friendly way. It was well structured, allowing everyone to showcase their ability to give value added to the project. Uh, I believe it was a very informative event uh, that brought together um, many companies within the industry, uh, whether that be in local communities or uh, large businesses uh, involved in the LTC project. I found that learning what areas in construction create the most carbon very interesting. In particular, construction vehicles and how they are adapting and changing to be carbon free. The one thing that I learned was how keen the small businesses are to assist in the building of this road and provide services to ensure a greener future for the next generation. There's an increasing dependence on uh, procuring with carbon in mind and not cost. This brings about uh, an interesting conversation on uh, the future of carbon within the industry. I think the project's biggest carbon challenge is where we need to be innovative. Rather than thinking we can recycle, we need to upcycle. And not just about calculating carbon and then making an offset, but producing less of a carbon footprint in the first instance 
and this starts at the grassroots with the manufacturers. One of the main difficulties uh, within this project is going to be the procurement of low carbon materials and finding alternatives within the industry. I feel the project is well on its way to delivering a significant change which will hopefully shape future projects moving forwards.